Welcome to another episode of Cube 360. And, uh, and we're live here from Tokyo. And, uh, well, not really live because I'll be, I'll be back home by the time you see this edited. But, uh, so welcome to another episode of Cube 360. And boy, do we ever have a treat for you this time. Because we are going to be stepping into the, one of the legendary video game stores in the world. It's the biggest game store in the world. It's called Super Potato. So uh, I'll show you this, the, uh, what it looks like here. There you go. There you go, folks. And apparently that's Super Potato here in Tokyo. So uh, let's go take a look and see what we find inside Super Potato in, uh, in Tokyo, Japan. Alright, join us as we step into a world, a world unknown, of a video game elevator for Super Potato. Got some uh, some top loading nests here. They're they're uh, so like eighty bucks though. As you can see, Super Potato is pretty crazy. There's uh, there's so much to look at here. You don't even know where to begin. This stuff's kind of cool, eh? That. <laughs> I guess this is where the uh, Sega Sega Genesis games would be. I must say though, these these pillows are really cool. I like this one too. seems to be stuck to the wall. I think they're all stuck to the wall. Oh yeah. These are boxed Super Famicom games. There's seriously so many games here that you don't really you really don't even know where to start. Like, it's huge and you could probably spend hours in here. Which we probably will. I don't even know what, what half of these games are. They're just like bizarre. A lot of these you you, you won't be able to, to play like if they're RPGs and you don't read Japanese then. It's fine if you want to collect some games that you already know, but 
when it comes to RPGs and stuff like that, you probably, uh, probably want to be careful. Here's Turtles, Turtles 2. Uh, this is actually the Manhattan Project, and uh, for those that don't know, Turtles 1 was released, like the original Turtles 1 was released this under something else, and, uh, and, and Turtles 1 here in Japan is actually the arcade game, so it's just Turtles, Ninja Turtles, and then they released Turtles 2, which was the Manhattan Project, but Turtles 1 was released as something else, but for whatever reason. Don't know. From Mario USA. Hmm. Well, it's just Mario 2. Well, here's the Rockman games. Rockman 3. For about 20 bucks. It's not that bad of a deal for a box copy of Rockman, when you think about it. So, over here behind me is Wonder Swan. You may not know what Wonder Swan is, but Wonder Swan, here we go, there we go, Wonder Swan. It, it's a handheld system that never made it out of Japan, actually. So, there's all these weird games here for Wonder Swan. Look at that. That, uh, it's a handheld system that never really made it out of Japan. And this is what. And right here, this is what the Wonder Swan games look like. So these are Wonder Swan games. I wouldn't really, uh, wouldn't really risk playing them or buying money because I think they're all in Japan anyway. So you probably wouldn't even know what they're talking about. But as you see, look at it. We got got some Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy two. Wonder Swan Color. Oh, look at that. Wonder Swan Color. It sounds like it's like Game Boy. Like Game Boy Color and whatnot. Super Mario Toothbrush. Launch. Lunchbox. Some other weird stuff here. Expensive games, apparently. Yogi Bear, Yogi Bear's butt fuck jamboree. That's a really rare one. Oh, it's Wild Guns. Look at that. Wild Guns for 52. I'd like to know what some of these other ones are here. You don't really want to like gamble too much when you don't really know what you're getting. Okay. I mean, I bet you there's a lot of really cool games here, but when you don't really know what they are. I kind of really don't want to gamble with them, eh? Hmm. Especially at these prices. Rockman Mega World. I have no idea what that is. Batman with Val Kilmer. Oh, it's Maximum Carnage. Look at that. Wow. It's pretty expensive. You know what's funny? What's funny about, uh, but what's rare here between what's rare in North America is uh, some games here are more than they are in North America and some games here uh, are less than what they're worth in North America. So it's pretty crazy. I mean, Sega Genesis here apparently, um, nobody wants Sega Genesis in Japan. So you can get the games here for dirt cheap. Like, for instance, what's this? Ninja Turtles Return to the Shredder. I don't know which one this is, to tell you the truth, actually. Huh. Then there's Toe Jam and Earl for like $3.99, right? So, you never quite know. Apparently the thing with Super Potato is it's about, it's about three or four floors. That's, that's how big it is, and we're only on the first floor, which is, uh, which is just retro games, right? There's also more floors, like the second floor I think is 64 games, and then uh, the floor up would be like I think it's uh, like newer games, like Wii games and stuff like that. So there's a lot of floors here. I mean, we're just on the retro floor right now. So maybe, uh, maybe I better put a rest here for now and then I'll see you on another floor.